Hello YouTube, Metal Trooper 62 here, and this is a quick video on something I just got today. This is from 80% Arms. It's their Easy Jig Universal Fit for milling out 80% AR-15 lowers. And I'll leave a link down below to uh, to their video where they're showing how this is used. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to video this whenever uh, whenever I get around to using this. But uh, so what I did was I ordered the Easy Jig, ordered one of their 80% lower billet, and then their. Uh, little drill bit tool set and basically what this does is you put this in a in a vise and everything and put this together you put your lower in there and you basically mill it out with uh, these small routers or laminate tile cutters or whatever those are but uh, they have a few that they recommend and I stopped by a few places and they didn't have the specific model, so I got to hit a couple more places. Um, I was going to order one online, but apparently my debit card was compromised. So my bank shut it off, and I won't have a debit card for 10 days. So until then, I'll just give a quick look of what this is. And I haven't even opened this. Like I said, I just got this. But, um, maybe a couple stickers and stuff like that. But basically, basically, it's got all this stuff in it. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll do a little bit more in-depth video on this. But there's the plate for your router and you basically clamp the two halves together and uh, put your receiver your lower in there and you drill it out drill the first ones with the uh, you can use a hand drill or a drill press you don't really need a drill press these are pretty pretty precise and, and stuff but uh, and then I picked up one of their lowers which most of their stuff is out of stock but these raw billet 80% lowers they had in stock, and I just got one um, just to try since they were that, you know they had them. But this is what it is, and it looks like you know there's all kinds of marks on this, but this is actually smooth. And uh, either duracoat this or Cerakote it, but it's got um, semi safe on both sides semi safe on that side semi safe on that side that's crazy looking um the only thing i'm not real a big fan of is this trigger guard here this is already machined in here there are some 80 percent lowers out there though that don't have this and you just put your own trigger guard in there which i'm gonna i'm gonna be buying a few a few but basically that's this is the section you mill out right here. And it gives you all the instructions. And then it on, on their website, it, it uh, gives detailed instructions. But the pivot pen detent hole right here is pretty squared up. And all the other pen holes look... Like they're in the proper spot. But it's pretty wild looking. When I first, when I seen the picture, it looked like you know these were raised slightly, but that's just uh, tool marks and then they, they buffed down. But like I said, this is smooth. And if you if I had a media blaster you know I, I could use that and just kind of give it a matte finish and stuff which probably have to do that anyway before I paint it so 
so the paint will stick. But anyway, that's they're lower, and I'm gonna see. Also, it says that um, this this easy jig fit, fits um, pretty much most of the 80% lowers out there, except the new frontier. I think is the one that uh, they said that this jig will not work in. But this is one thing I liked on the side of this box. Manufactured behind enemy lines in the Re in the People's Republic of California. And it's crazy. You know, Cal California is like one of the most strictest states, but like all these, um, a lot of the businesses that do 80% AR lowers are in California, like Aries Arm, 80%, uh, Polymer 80, they're all in California. But uh, very, very cool. And the tool, the little tool set, there's your, your stop for your depth when you're, you know, routing this out and everything. And it's got, um, it's got gauges and everything over here to depth gauges. Uh, most of these drill, brit, <clears throat> drill bits are common and everything. And I've got some, I just didn't remember if I had new ones. The only one that's different is their their end mill is specially made, so it's got short. There's only there's a, a small cutting flutes, so those are proprietary to this to this jig. Um, they say you can use standard ones, but you run the risk of damaging um, the jig when you're when you're milling it out. So. But anyway, I just wanted to give that quick update on a new project that, uh, you know, I've got more projects than I know what to deal with. But, um, anyway, I've been busy getting my container gardening and everything. I think I got that all situated. So hopefully I'm going to be able to do, start doing some more videos and that. And again, this came from 80% arms. And I guess that's about it. Until next time, I'll show this in more detail. and show how these receivers fit in there. Um, Y'all have a good one. Metal Trooper 62 saying see ya. Y'all have a good one. Bye.